Look at that. Nice hole in the wood. And over here, quite a reasonable kind of a crack. Imperfections in wood. Bit of a problem. How do you fix them? How do you cover them up? Well, for years and years and years, hardware shops have sold things called wax sticks. But guess what the problem is with those? They dry hard and they fall out of the hole. You want something that remains flexible. Now, we have invented, or, or, or helped invent, a product called Fix Sticks. They are micro-crystalline wax. Quite unusual. In fact, they have been used in motor car bodywork. I've seen them being used to fix hail damage. Quite amazing. The reason they use microcrystalline wax is it doesn't need to dry. You fill the dent in the car, for instance, and they can juco over the top of it straight away, and it never needs to dry. By the same token, you can fill a hole in wood and wax over it immediately. And the beauty of these is that you can mix this colour range together to come up with the wood grain that suits you. How does it work? Let's have a look. Here's the hole. Now the first thing I do with this is, is think, well, what colour am I going to start with? Now, one thing about colours in wood, imperfections are always dark. So why would you use, like so many people do, a light colour when you have an imperfection in wood? All imperfections in this piece are dark. Look at them down here. Everything that is imperfect or irregular is dark, never light. So why on earth would you try to fill it with a pale plastic wax? It'll just look dreadful. And so many people do that. And the hole just stares at you. Let's look at this one. I'm going to take my selection of fixed sticks. Yes, I've got this nice bunch of fixed sticks in a packet. But of course, you'll end up just like me. What I've got here is some citrus shield. Now, you know, let's, let's talk about citrus shield. There's citrus shield, so you know what we're talking about, don't you? Because I'm not going to demonstrate that again right now. What I tell you about citrus shield is that it goes hard. I did say that, that it goes hard. It goes as hard as a rock. So this this here, there it is on my hand, that's, that's citrus shield, okay, and this is what happens to it after about a month. It goes as hard as anything. That's beginning to putty up. And if I allow the air onto that and put it into a hole, it'll go rock hard. So the first thing I do is to use a little bit of my citrus shield that I've let harden up to fill the bulk of the hole, okay? So I'm going to fill the bulk of the hole. And now I'm going to use my fix sticks for the follow-up. Now I've got a series of colours here. I've got dark, I've got light, I've got red, I've got a lot. <laughs> All gummed together with a bit of my good old citrus sheet. Let me start. I'll start by using the neutral colour and I'll start by rubbing that into the hole over the top of what I've already done with the citrus sheet. There it is, you can see that pale colour going in there, right? Now, let's start looking at some colours. A little bit of this pale straw colour. Rub it in like so, that's not looking bad. Now I might use a little, a little bit of, of the chocolate brown, because there are little streaks of chocolate brown in this wood, so I'll use a little bit of that. Alright. I'm just about there, really. Just a bit more of that. Tiny bit more of maybe this rather caramelly colour. Put that in like so. And look at that. Look at that. And I want the camera to come up close there. You wouldn't really know that there was a hole there. It just looks like that. There's a bit of an imperfection in the wood. And here's the hole but you wouldn't know that there was a hole there. And guess what, I can now wax over this. I just use some citrus shield. I can just wax over the top. Finish the job. Got a bit of a leaf there, sorry about that. And then, when I let it dry, and it'll take about 15 or 20 minutes, I just burnish it over. And what you basically have there is not a hole anymore. It was a great big hole there, wasn't there, remember? And as for this little crack, well, that's easy to fix. It's much smaller than the hole. I just cover it over like that. Maybe even using just one colour this time. Hmm. 
Maybe I'll use another colour. Maybe I'll just give a bit more of a caramel to it. Give it a bit of a, a streaky look. No more crack. Filled in. It's pretty good, isn't it? And then once again, if I want to finish it off, I just put the rest of the wax over the top and get on with it. And those waxed holes will not fall out. They will expand and contract with the wood. They never quite dry. They just remain kind of inert all the time. So unlike wax sticks that you buy that fall out after about three months, they'll stay in there for the life of the wood. Thick Sticks is the name of the product. Thick Sticks. Here they are. Where's that bag? There it is. Thick Sticks. They are really brilliant.